guys welcome back so for today's tutorial I'm, I'm gonna be doing my makeup with products that are my favorites the products that I've been loving through 2017 it's already 2018 so happy new year to everybody I hope you guys had an amazing new year with your loved ones even if you were with your cat or your dog this video are products that I genuinely genuinely love but then I am also going to be doing a separate video explaining why I love them i'm gonna be doing hair care skin care in a separate video like talking more in depth about it because if i do it here on this video it's going to just be a hour long video so i'm planning to do one separately this product has been in a lot of my videos um so i'm just gonna say this is the Too faced hangover rx primer this primer is so freaking good you guys i can't even explain it all in all it's one of my favorite primers and since right now my skin has been getting very very dry um this keeps it like very hydrated and it's also very tacky so the next step that i love and this primer is like so good this is like my third bottle of this year this is the makeup forever step one skin equalizer i don't apply this everywhere on my face because if i did my face would literally Literally flake be so flaky it would not even be funny I just apply this around my nose like right here too because it really does help my nose stay matte throughout the day if you guys don't own this please go do yourself a favor and go get it because it's so good you guys this is the Smashbox photo primer water it's amazing so I've changed up my makeup routine a little bit, so um, I'm going to start doing my eyebrows now. My first favorite brow product has to be the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. It's okay. I, I don't have anything bad to say about this brow pencil. I first like doing is underlining... So this is pretty much what I do to my brows, but um, I do put a little bit of powder on and I love like this is such a good brow kit for me. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Brow Palette and it looks like this. Oh, by the way, I'm number two. The first one that I get is the dark shade and I just like to shade in my brows like the tail. When I'm done doing that, um, I take the second shade right here, which is a more lighter brown. Wow. Which is a lighter brown. And then what I do is just blend, fill in any gaps. And then with the um, spoolie, all I do is just run through the brows to get like rid of any product all right so now that my brows are pretty much good to go i'm gonna now sculpt them out to sculpt on my brows i use the laura mercier secret camouflage brush right here it's very tiny and then with the flat brush but all i do is just blend like that so there's like a, no harsh lines i also have a brow routine so if you guys want to check that out i will have it down in the description box it's more detailed for sure so now i'm going to do my eyeshadow and to prime my eyelids i use the tarte shape tape concealer in medium I use a little bit of it. I don't use a lot of eyeshadow primers just because I feel like concealer works best. I only do this when I do my eyeshadow and I just take any translucent powder and I just set just the top right here. So we're pretty much good to go. Now I'm going to start doing my 
eyeshadow and the eyeshadow palette that I'm gonna be using today and I feel like it's just a good palette to have for me it's like one of the best palettes out there for the price and also how great of a quality their eyeshadows are and obsessed with the dare to create palette by morphe it's just all in all it's such a great palette and the price of this palette is just insane and there's 39 eyeshadows in this palette which is so crazy to me and the price i think it's like 32 dollars and the color that i'm gonna be taking first is this shade right here i don't know the names i know there's names to them now but i lost the paper i'm going to be blending this out with a makeup shack brush this is a t12 brush and just picking the shade and blending it all over my crease as a transition color I'm going to be picking this shade up with this Morphe R40 brush. And I also like how there's seven different transition colors for any skin color. So now with a different brush, this is the Morphe M513. I'm going to be picking up the shade right here in the palette. It's like a burnt orange shade. I'm going to actually pack this shade on and then I'm just going to be kind of blending it. Okay, so the next shade I'm going to be taking is this like a very deep orange and I'm going to be taking this color also on my outer corner and just pack the shade on. I'm not going to really like blend it out. I'm just going to pack it on just to make the outer corner darker. And then after you're done doing that, I'm just going to like just barely blend it. And then right after that, I think I'm going to take a shimmer shade. Now I'm going to be taking this color right here. It's kind of like a bronzed brown. But of course, I need to um, spray some Fix Plus on this. Oh wait, actually, let's do that right after I do a cut crease. Because I feel like whenever I do like a cut crease before my lid shade, it comes out more pigmented. Let me show you guys this very good trick. Um, what I do is just look up and then I look like sideways like this. And then you see that where it hits right there, you want to stop there. It's going to help not transfer anything on your crease. And then with a different brush, you just want to blend any harsh lines. Now I'm going to go in with that shade and then um, adding a more fix plus because I'm pretty sure I tried up. I'm just going to now apply it here. So once we're done with that step, I'm going to be taking this dark brown in the palette and just... So I'm just going to be taking now the dark shade in the palette right down here with a more smaller brush. This is a Makeup Geek Defined Crease brush. I'm just going to apply this shade right here. Um, I'm going to be taking this Urban Decay 24 out 24/7 Glide on Eye Pencil in Pervision and then I'm just going to be applying this taking this brush and I'm just going to be kind of like lending it up
And then I want to take a matte black chateau with the same Makeup Geek Define Crease Brush. And I'm going to take the matte eyeshadow from the Dark to Create palette. And I'm just going to start applying it. So I'm just going to do like very, very small blending motions. This will help for the black eyeshadow to not go everywhere. With this card, all I'm going to do now is just kind of like creating a line. So now I'm just going to continue blending this shade upwards. I'm going to stop doing what I'm doing and just do my eyeliner really, really quick. But it should be looking something like this. I'm going to do this eye off camera and then I'll be right back to finish the whole face. So for today's foundation, I'm going to be taking my favorite drugstore foundation. These are the Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundations. And I was actually desert beige like for a really long time. But then I got very tan, so I switched to the caramel. But I mix these two together and they both make the perfect match for my skin. So that's what I'm going to do today. It's going to apply the caramel first see this is like perfect but then when i mix it with desert beige it makes like the perfect shades so i'm going to be blending it out with my real technique sponge this foundation is was literally my favorite throughout the whole entire year it's so good it's full coverage it's not super duper drying and it's just a good foundation and a lot of people don't like the smell but i do i don't mind this smell Alright, so now for concealer, um, I'm going to be taking my favorite, favorite concealer of 2017. You guys probably know what it is. Um, they are the Tarte Shape Tape Concealers. There's like nothing like this out in the market. And then I apply a little bit of medium on top of it for a little bit of highlight. Down the bridge of my nose my forehead and then I blend it out with my Real Technique sponge So we're good to go with the concealer. Now I'm going to do my cream contour. You guys probably already guessed it. I use the um, Wet n Wild Contour Stick in Call Me Maple. If you guys don't own this, it's me too. You guys know that I'm like a cream contour fanatic. So I'm just going to be taking this angle flat brush. I'm, pre I'm also pressing it into my skin. It's so good. Look at that. Alright guys, so now I'm going to go ahead and bake. This powder is seriously so freaking good. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. It's one of the best drugstore powders I've, I've ever tried. I'm just going to be taking the loose powder. What I start doing, I bake, but then I also press the powder into my skin that it disappears and that is just so flawless under here of doing this i don't bake anymore i uh, do this now so my favorite bronzer of 2017 definitely you guys already know which one i'm gonna say like i don't even need to say the name but this is it this is the bh cosmetics satin bronzer i shouldn't even be mentioning it because it's not even online anymore which is really crazy like i don't know why they did that 
To contour, I use my Becca Cosmetics Sunlit Bronzer in Ipanema Sun. Literally, this is such a great bronzer to contour. And what I like doing is just applying this right here. So for blush, this blush has to be the best blush I've ever tried and it is the Benefit California Blush. I am obsessed with this brush, blush you guys. I got another one by the way. This one's new. I love this blush because it also gives like a very nice sheen to your cheekbones. If you guys are thinking of getting a blush, definitely get this, especially if you're around my skin tone. So for lashes, I'm going to be taking my um, Angelic Lashes from Lava Lashes. Literally, these lashes have have been my favorite throughout the year they're so pretty and fluttery and they just go so well with my eye shape mascara that i've been loving it has to be the um l'oreal telescopic mascara i use this every single time i do my makeup it doesn't make my eyelashes go down because i have really straight eyelashes I'm just going to get rid of the powder. And if you see a line like this, like that, all I do is just get my beauty blender and since it's damp, it just melts it in to my skin right away. Now I'm going to do my bottom lashes really quick. I'm going to literally do the same thing that I did to my crease. Now I'm going to take this shade right here with a more flat brush. I'm going to be taking this brown shade and then again smoking it out. Right after I'm done doing that, I'm going to take my black Urban Decay liner. So now for my highlight, I just fell in love with this Violet Voss um, Prismatic High Liquid Highlighter in Glow with the Flow. And what I like doing is just taking my sponge and then I just apply some on the highest points of my cheeks. My favorite highlighter of the year definitely has to be the MAC O Darling Highlighter. I've used this on a lot of my makeup tutorials, you guys are probably sick of it. And you guys are going to be so shocked of the lip liner that I'm going to be using. And it has been my favorite this whole entire year. This is the NYX Retactable Lip Liner. So good. And it has replaced my stripped down lip liner from MAC. It is really hard to say, but probably going to be like sick of me using this. But I have to go with the Dose of Colors Knock on Wood Liquid Lipstick. I've been using this since the day it came out. And it's so pretty so of course i'm gonna do gloss because i mean this will not be a sarai makeup tutorial without gloss on and my favorite gloss of 2017 has to be the fenty beauty gloss bomb my favorite like look at that and last but not least i'm going to take my favorite setting spray this is the Too faced hangover rx setting spray Alright guys, so that is it for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I loved making this makeup tutorial because obviously I used all my favorite products from 2017. Like, of course, this video had to come out good because I used like my all-time favorite products. And let me know what you guys want to see on my next video. I hope you guys had an amazing start to 2018. I know that it's just like another day but i do believe in like changing your lifestyle changing yourself i do believe in a fresh new start thank you so much for supporting my channel um in 2017 and i hope you continue to um ride with me through this journey thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys on my next video bye guys